Scammers have been busy during the pandemic targeting anyone they can make money off of. The Better Business Bureau just released their 2020 risk report with some troubling findings. WMER 2 News Eddie Kadem dives into how Marylanders are being targeted and what you can do to avoid becoming yet another victim. The rise in scams ties directly into the pandemic with people desperate to find PPE to protect their families, businesses, and just everyday people looking for any financial support to get by, and military families, the spouses, the veterans themselves, and active duty members are also being targeted because they're not familiar with the areas they're living in and they're experiencing isolation. Last year, Marylanders submitted 846 scam tracker reports to Better Business Bureau serving Greater Maryland. That's up 586 reports in 2019. Almost half of every report noted a financial loss. We're finding things. We're not searching for things on social media, but we see something that piques our interest and we click on it and that can lead us down that rabbit hole that scammers um, build for us. Online purchase scams went up nearly 43%. When brick and mortar stores ran out of soaps, disinfectants, and hand sanitizers, scammers capitalized. Scammers use this opportunity to set up fake websites. Websites that look like this was the go-to place to order first and foremost uh, protective supplies. Scammers also use stimulus money as a hook to reel people in. We know all too well about the tens of thousands of people who have filed for unemployment. There were 79% more unemployment scam reports, and the people who lost money from it gave up on average of over $1,800. People thought they were paying for a service or maybe even a training to prepare them for a new job. But also in an unemployment scam, you have to remember one thing scammers may be able to get from us is personal identifying information, our social security, our driver's license, the information that you could give to somebody when you apply for a job. Phishing scams were on the rise as well. All those constant calls, texts, and emails trying to get your personal information through imposters acting as government officials when people were voting by mail and urgent package delivery notices. You click on that link and you actually are diverted to a fake website or malware is released. So shipping scams uh, right now, we want to warn the public of COVID scams, vac vaccine related, testing related. Your best defense against scammers is doing your homework. Make sure you reach out to whoever is reaching out to you with this urgent notice to see if they really sent it before you send any of your personal information. Also, let the Better Business Bureau know. Reach out to them through their scam tracker so that other people don't get scammed as well. And if you want to learn more or hear more of these tips, see the full report, head to our website, WMAR2news.com. Reporting for WMAR2news, I'm Eddie Kadem.